didn't introduce myself at the beginning of um, our lovely talk yesterday about photographer Bernice Abbott and her relationship with the Joyce family, and particularly, particularly Lucia Joyce. So let me introduce myself. My name is Dorina Gallagher, and I'm director here at the James Joyce Centre. And I'm responsible for all this madness that is the Bloomsday Festival. So you're all really, really welcome. Um, today is the 15th of June, the day before Bloomsday. It's also Millie Bloom's birthday, daughter of Leopold and Molly Bloom. And she was 15 on the 15th of June. And I've really been thinking about Father's Day tomorrow. So all you fathers in the audience, um, well done. <laughs> You've done really well. Um, I'm thinking about Leopold Bloom as a father. But more than that, I've been thinking about James Joyce his family in Trieste and friendships that James Joyce had, not just in Trieste, but actually throughout his life. I have grown to change my mind about Joyce. Sometimes I think he's a grumpy old fool that would drive me mad. And then sometimes I think, wow, he had the most extraordinary friendships in his life. And so many people wanted to be with him, wanted to talk to him, wanted to support him through his life, particularly publishers, um, benefactors like um, Sylvia Beach and Harriet Weaver that supported him through so much of his life and without them and without so many of his friends that we couldn't be here today to celebrate Bloomsday. So one of these friends is composer Antonio Smorelia, who I'm learning about thanks to Juliana who visited us a number of months ago and this project is really thanks to you Juliana and inspiring us to think about Joyce's life in Trieste and the creative community that he surrounded himself with. We're also delighted to have uh, Charlene, uh, Sophia and Vito who will talk to us um, um, but before we start I'd like to welcome um, Baroslav from the Croatian Embassy to say a few words. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, dear guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Croatian Embassy in Ireland, I would like to thank you for coming tonight. This is a unique occasion to celebrate Croatian and Irish cultural links created by the friendship between Antonio Smarelia and James Joyce. We are very grateful for the opportunity to cooperate with such a prominent institution as the James Joyce Center for the first time, and we sincerely hope that this will not be the last opportunity to do so. I hope we will explore and find many more cultural links between Croatia and Ireland and celebrate it in the future. In particular, we thank Ms. Licinic and the Zmarelljana Association for all the efforts they put into promoting Antonio Zmarelja and his brilliant work which we all will have the opportunity to enjoy tonight. We are grateful for your ambitions and for work tonight's event and the involvement to the Croatian Embassy. Last but not least, special thanks to our artists, Charlene Faruja Božac, Sofia Singula and Vito Pauletic, without whose Marella's work, talent and memory couldn't be brought to life for this occasion. I hope you will enjoy this performance tonight and this more reception of the board. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. It's really exciting. Uh, I mean, it all started just by me almost accidentally visiting. Uh, I looked up at James Joyce Center. I thought, well, maybe I should just uh, see what they think. Uh, do they know anything about Smarelia? And they didn't. <laughs> and so I thought, uh, well, they were very open to new co collaborations. So here we are. Um, uh, I just wanted to also uh, thank you on behalf of Association Smarelliana. We set it up in 2015 in order to promote um, the appreciation of this composer. We do it in many ways through new publications, new research, exhibitions, performances and events like this. This one is particularly special. Obviously it's international and um, it does have a special value. And it's also um, very competitive out there with all these other events distracting us like the football. <laughs> Just, uh, next year I will Google in advance. <laughs> have this uh, overlap. So thank you for coming. 
a huge thank you to the Jane Joyce Center. As I said, it uh, really was great um, that you were so open to these ideas. And uh, I know you know a lot. As soon as I stepped in here, I thought they know about Joyce. So I'm not going to talk about Joyce. But uh, you were open to, to find out a bit more about his other links. Um, and also, um, I do hope that this will be followed up by your research trip in Pula. I mean, yes, it's gorgeous. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> uh, you know, why not? <laughs> Um, so we'll welcome you to Pula, maybe this autumn. And a uh, uh, big thank you to Croatian Embassy for supporting us. Um, it's a really international uh, event. It uh, involves Croatia, Italy, Ireland. In a way, it's not unlike, it's a little bit like um, it was for Joyce long ago uh, in Trieste. Um, and of course, huge thank you for the artists who were just as enthusiastic as me to, uh, to take up this project. So, Basically, friendship and connection between Joyce and Smarella, um, there, there are many, many details where we can find uh, uh, stories uh, and, and documentation. So there are some writings of Joyce where he mentions his composer friend who lived next door. Um, and then they were, well, neighbors in Trieste. Then uh, also Joyce, he had his own, you know that, uh, probably he was passionate he was he always became a musician as you know if he only knew sight reading which you know if he would come to my lessons today he would know but still so he knew he became a composer he loved music and he took lots of singing lessons piano lessons um, and it was very handy to have a composer next door uh, in fact, Zmarella's student became Joyce's singing teacher. Uh, Zmarella's libertist uh, was one of the first mentors of Joyce when he uh, started writing um, for Italian newspaper, Silvio Benko. So there's so many direct links, lovely links, uh, but uh, it's nice that uh, the picture is getting more and more complete. So I'm uh, happy that we can play a part in that. So who was Antonio Zmarella? Well, he was a, a composer born in Pula, like lots of other important people. And um, in 1854, at the time when Istria and Pula were part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, so uh, he, uh, his parents were mixed, uh, Italian father, and Croatian mother, and uh, they sent him to Graz and Vienna to go to secondary school, as you did in those days. But then he, ch he had a he change of heart and he decided to, so he was studying engineering, but then decided, no, my vocation is music, and went to Milan to conservatory to study uh, composition. Uh, so he is best described as, a, as a, one of uh, those, it's called La, La, um, La Giovane Scuola, a generation of composers born in the 1850s and includes Puccini, for example, everybody knows him, Mascagni, Cilea, Franchetti. Um, so they all contributed and, and created a repertoire of operas at the turn of the century. So Marenia was a little bit maybe the loudest rebel of all there, uh, uncompromising, a bit tricky as a character, uh, but also very creative, very cosmopolitan, just look at his background. So he, um, he had a lot of friends, he was uh, performed, but he also made some not such good friends, which sometimes blocked some of the performances of his work. He, um, so basically, he was performed in, in, in cities like Vienna and uh, Trieste and Venice and Milan, even New York at some point. So very established as a composer uh, throughout his uh, life, mainly remembered for operas. Uh, he was also very creative and always longed to, uh, he was a very talented orchestrator and uh, uh, instrumentalist, so he wanted to change and enrich opera and um, so created basically a little bit unusual operas, uh, and they were they became to be called they came to be called Teatro di Poesia or this poetic theatre, which he created with his liberty Silvio Benco. So um, this fruitful collaboration led to his probably three best operas, last three Falena, Oceana, and Abisso, very atmospheric, dreamlike uh, um, subjects and, and atmospheres and. They're the kind of operas where music dominates above the drama. So music, uh, at that time, um, you know, all the, the arts were, were affecting one another and poets longed for music to complete their poetry and musicians needed words to say more. So th they're the kind of works that, that I'm talking about, uh, Teatro de Poesia. So, um, oh, there's lots of other things I could say, but uh, basically, um, just to say that, uh, yes, the, 
basically Smarella enriched the turn of the century Italian opera. And tonight we will hear some of the things that Joyce would have heard. Um, so he heard Nozze Istriana in Trieste, that we know for sure, but it's very likely that he also sang some of his arias uh, and um, um, solo uh, songs for piano and voice. And just, um, they had this social circle, they were going to cafe in Trieste and, uh, um, you know, talking and, you know, and talking about art and music. Um, and they, Joyce had the piano in his flat, well he did change flat a lot of times in Trieste, but he did have a piano and then he would just have like social events uh, where they would all gather. So a lot of connections, a lot of uh, overlaps and links and I hope you enjoy discovering some of the music which is really beautiful um, coming from a very talented original composer. <laughs>
much, uh, Sophia and uh, Charlene. I've never had a more enchanting uh, <laughs> overture to my to my talk. Mm -hmm. But this is quite embarrassing because now people may perceive me as a spoiler, actually. <laughs> but uh, you'll be rewarded because uh, music is coming uh, is coming back again. Uh, so bear with me with some, uh, for some 20 minutes. Um, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Vito Paoletic. I come from Pula or Pola in Croatia and uh, I'm one of the promoters of Bloomsday Croatia, whom we have had uh, in Pula since uh, 2012 now. Let me express my gratitude to uh, all the different uh, um, people who have, uh, uh, who have uh, um, cooperated in order to make this event possible, this beautiful venue. It's really not... Uh, 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 well, it, it's really very uh, exciting to uh, to be speaking uh, at the James Joyce Center for me uh, after being uh, in charge uh, of uh, Bloomsday Croatia for a decade and uh, and more. So um, let me express my gratitude to the of course uh, to um, to Darina and uh, Josh who have, uh, whom we have been in touch with, to Juliana whom you have already met from uh, Smarelian Association in Pula, but actually a transnational <laughs> institution now who is um, who is in charge of uh, or whose purpose it is to make our local composers. Uh, uh, known and performed uh, uh, not on or out of their uh, out of their homeland, but even in their home, where they are not uh, enough, uh, where they are not enough uh, known and uh, and famous. And uh, last but not least, also to the Croatian Embassy, to Mr. Živković, and uh, to the whole staff who have made this event possible. Uh, well, uh, this event is actually um, dedicated to James Joyce and his. Uh, and she's a friend composer, Antonio Smarella. So uh, the link between the two has already been explained to you, but let me now share with you something about uh, the, let's say, the preliminary history, what happened to James Joyce uh, when he left uh, Ireland. Before landing uh, in uh, Trieste, uh, he actually had a very short parenthesis in, uh, in Pula, which is my uh, hometown. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is actually the, um, the t it's meant to be the title of my uh, of of, uh, of, the, of my um, of today's uh, uh, talk, and uh, well, um, and it's even more important, even more exciting actually to be uh, giving this talk uh, at this venue, uh, not in February, December, or November, but uh, in uh, in June. Uh, on the 15th of June, on the on Bloomsday Eve, actually, on Bloomsday Eve, which has been celebrated for 70 years, if I'm not wrong, because I think, I think the, uh, the picture uh, when Bloomsday was first celebrated, the first uh, the form that took uh, took place here in Dublin was back in 1954, so that's uh, 70 years ago, and. Um, Ever since 2012, Bloomsday Croatia uh, with uh, Pula has also been part of this uh, worldwide uh, enterprise. And you may also find um, the, the program of our Bloomsday uh, linked uh, on, uh, on, the, uh, on the website of, uh, of the James Joyce uh, Center. And thank you very much for making this uh, possible.